A new officer is on duty at the Pike County Detention Center. Good evening, I'm Matthew Rand. First on Mountain News Weekend Edition, last week, narcotic dog Cooper, uh, Copper, I should say, joined the jail's team to help keep drugs out of the hands of inmates. WYMT's Alex Casper Peak spoke to the jailer who says the new officer is already helping out their cause. Cutting down on drug use is a constant battle, which is why Pike County Jailer Freddie Lewis brought in a new officer to help with the cause, Canine Copper. We're going to be fighting it for ever how long we're here. Uh, it's just something that we have to stay on top of, and we thought that the dog would be a great asset to us in order to keep it clean. Copper is a two and a half year old narcotic dog who has already impressed his trainer. He's just all the time wanting to work, just full of energy anytime you take him out, even. Uh, even when I was in training, uh, if I'd take him out for a restroom break, I mean, he just wanted to search the cars in the parking lot. He just constantly wants to work. Officials say it took less than a day for Copper to get his first indictment. He uh, picked up some uh, drugs for us. Uh, we actually got a, uh, a conviction. We got a first degree contraband felony charge on a lady uh, that was bringing marijuana into the jail. That's not all the canine has found since his first search last week. Uh, we come up with uh, some suboxone, some syringes the other night. He smelled it through a uh, lotion bottle. They had it in the lotion, and he smelled it through the lotion bottle in the lotion, and, uh, you know, that's how we picked up on it. Officials say Copper will also go around to schools helping to prevent drug use as they continue to combat drug trafficking in the region. In Pike County, Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. Copper will be available for use by other law enforcement agencies in the area as well.